I'm Terry. I'm Kate. And today we are going to be moving through a quick, feel good, all levels yoga flow that will hopefully leave you feeling better when you roll up your mat than it did when you first rolled it out. So we will get started in extended child pose. Draw your knees wide to the edges of your mat. Drive your hips back towards your heels. And then stretch your arms out really long in front of you. Actively press down through your palms and through the tops of your feet. And then find some ease through your shoulders, relaxing them down away from your ears. Separating your back teeth. Relaxing through your jaw and through your forehead. Begin to deepen your breath right away here. And set an intention for your practice, focusing on the way you want to feel when we close out class today. With your intention in mind, take a really full breath in and a deep breath out. From there, walk your hands over to the left side of your mat, stretching your right hand towards the back of your left, driving back through your right hip. Take an inhale and an exhale. And then switching sides here, walking hands over towards the right side of your mat, left hand reaching for the back of your right and pressing back through your left hip so you get that nice side body stretch as you breathe in and breathe out. Walk your hands back through center and then slowly draw forward to a tabletop position, bringing your shoulders to stack over your wrists and your hips to stack over your knees. Once there, start to move through some cat cows with your breath, inhaling as you open through your chest and exhaling as you round through your back. Each inhale creates space for your collarbones, gaze up. And each exhale, really draw your belly button in and up. Good. A couple more with your breath. You can start to add in some movement from side to side, widen your hips, drawing shoulders left to right, maybe shaking out through your head. Mm -hmm. Find whatever feels good in your body. Yep. And then come back through center, tuck your toes under, and drive straight back to downward facing dog. And same thing here, as she just mentioned, you're going to just want to find what feels best to you today. So maybe that means making movement. Maybe that means finding stillness. Really tap into your body and what your body's craving right now. Continue to deepen your breath, long, full inhales. Deep, full exhales. And then if you've created movement here, find just a little bit of stillness, really driving your heels back and pressing your chest towards your thighs. Gaze at one spot towards the back edge of your mat as you breathe in and breathe out. So with an inhale, rock up high on your tiptoes. Exhale, press your heels back. One more, just like that. Inhale up high. Exhale, press back. Then gaze forward with your hands. Walk your feet forward. And come into ragdoll at the top edge of your mat. Feet about hip width distance. Grabbing for opposite biceps. Swing from side to side. Notice here if you've started to carry any tension through your shoulders, through your neck, through your face. And if so, just drop that here. Let your head hang heavy. Really press down through the four corners of your feet. Feel that strong foundation. And with an exhale, release your hands down. Then take them to interlace at your low back. And with an inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, drop your head low. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Fold, exhale out. With an inhale, roll up through standing and reach your hands up high above you. Gaze up towards the ceiling or sky. Inhale, open just a little bit more. And with an exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
fold, exhale out. Rise, inhale, reach up again. This time interlace all your fingers except for your index fingers, pointing them up high. Inhale, exhale, dip it over towards the right. Relax your shoulders. Find just a little bit of softness through the shoulders here. A little bit of softness through the knees. Inhale, back up through center. And exhale, dip it to the other side. Reaching towards the left, heart opening, gaze at one spot. Good. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Fold, breath out. Rise. Inhale, reach up one more time. And then go across your arms out to the side or cactus your arms out to the side. So you're really drawing open through your chest here. Shoulders are drawing down and back towards one another. Slight back bend, inhaling open. And exhale, fold forward. Once you fold forward, start to walk your hands over to the left side of your mat. So you're kind of drawing them towards the outside of your left foot. Folding over the outside of your left leg. Breathing in, breathing out. And then taking it to the other side, walking over towards the right. Again, a little bit of softness through the knees so you're not locking out here. Chin is actually your, your left knee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll feel natural. Good. Come back through center. Inhale, halfway lift. And then this time, step back, high plank position. Knees can be up or down on the mat. Lengthen through your upper body, so driving back through your heels, reaching forward through the crown of your head. Really press the earth away as you breathe in, shift forward, and exhale, chaturanga. Elbows stay tucked in, inhaling through up dog or cobra, open through your chest. And then with an exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, open your mouth, side oh. out. One more, just like that, inhale. Exhale, side out. With an inhale, lift your right leg up high. Bend your right knee open through your hip. And then step your foot through warrior one. So front foot is straight ahead at 12 o'clock. Press down through the outside edge of your back foot. And then square forward as you reach your arms up high. If you're new to yoga, train track your feet nice and wide on your mat. And you'll feel more stability. Gaze at one spot ahead of you. Find your breath here. And then bring your hands to meet at heart center. And open up, warrior two. Taking your back foot parallel with the back edge of your mat. Extending your right knee towards your right pinky toe. And setting your gaze somewhere over your right fingertips. Soft gaze here. Really drive through your front thigh. With an inhale, reverse, take your right hand up and back behind you, left hand reaching down your left leg. Exhale, extended side angle, right elbow coming to your right thigh. And then left hand reaching out long in front of you. So your left bicep is hovering above your left ear. Your heart is spinning open and up. Notice if you're gripping through your toes at all here, relax through that space, press down to the four corners of your feet. Come back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse, up and back, straighten through your front leg. Reach forward, triangle. Right hand moving down. Left hand can either reach straight up high, or you can take your left hand to rest on the small of your back. Soften your shoulders, breathe in. With the exhale, come back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse, up and back. And then exhale, hands to the mat, either moving through a vinyasa or moving straight back to downward facing dog. What your body needs, always coming back to that. With an inhale, lift your left leg up high. Bend your knee, open your hip. Press your chest towards your right thigh. Gaze at one spot. And then step your foot through warrior one. Take time to set up here, so no rush. 
you could even like take your hands to your left thigh mm -hmm. and walk your foot forward. Assist yourself here. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, doing that is creating a little bit more bend in my left leg. Set your gaze ahead of you. And then bring your hands to meet at heart center. Take an inhale. With your exhale, open up, warrior two. Press evenly through both feet. Really reach long through both arms, spreading your fingertips wide. Find your power in this pose. Creating strength. And then also find ease where you can. Notice if you're clenching, holding on anywhere that you can start to I let go. I was. <laughs> Always. Good. Flip your front palm. Inhale, reverse up and back with that nice side body stretch through the left side. And then take it forward, extended side angle. Just gently resting your elbow on your knee so you're not kind of collapsing into that. You're still supporting yourself with your core here. Using the strength of your core to spin open. Your right fingertips extending out long in front of you. Taking a nice stretch through your entire body. Take another inhale. With your exhale, come back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse, straighten through your front leg, and then reach forward, triangle. So your front leg is straight without being locked. Right fingertips either reaching up high or coming to rest on your low back. Move your gaze to one spot and find that deep breath here. Full inhales, creating space. Full exhales, going deeper into the pose. Come back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse, up and back. And exhale, flow. Hands to the mat, either moving through your vinyasa or meeting straight back in downward facing dog. And I'm giving you an option to come all the way to your belly and then press into your hands, draw your elbows back, cobra, so you're not lifting your belly off the mat necessarily, and then downward facing dog. If you're new, that's a nice vinyasa. With an inhale, look to your hands. Exhale, step or hop forward. Feet together, inhale, halfway lift. Fold, utkatasana, chair pose. Sitting down low, we're not gonna stay here long, just kind of working in some energy. So I squeezing together, hands meeting at heart center. With an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the right. Left elbow coming to the outside of your right thigh. Palms can stay pressed together. Arms can open up. You can take an open arm twist here. With an inhale, come back through center. Exhale, take it to the other side. Right elbow coming over your left thigh. Hips driving back. Most of your weight in your heels. Take your variation that feels best. <laughs> Come back through center, sit low, and fold. Awesome job. Take feet to about hip width distance. Take any variation of ragdoll here. You can just sway from side to side. Option to take your hands to clasp behind your neck, kind of cradling your head between your forearms. You've lost a deep breath, recreate it here. And then release your hands. Inhale halfway. Fold, exhale out. Rise, inhale, reach up. Fold, exhale. And standing split, right side. You're gonna lift your right leg long behind you. Keep your fingertips supporting you on the mat. We press down through your left foot, and then from here, open up to half moon. Left fingertips stay nice. down. Right fingertips reach up high. Lift your right leg. If you fall out, just come right back in. Take an inhale and an exhale fold. Taking it to the other side. Left leg lifts straight back behind you. Lift through your inner thigh. 
strong right leg supporting you and opening up half moon. Right fingertips stay down, left fingertips reach up. This is a, this is where I did it. This is a place where a lot of times you're going to fall out and you just let it happen. Take an inhale, open, and an exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, fold, exhale. Rise, inhale, last time, reaching up high, get that full body stretch, fold forward. Halfway lift, final chance at a vinyasa, or moving straight back, downward facing dog. Once you come into down dog, lifting your right leg up, bringing your knee through, setting up for half pigeon. You're gonna send your left leg straight back behind you. Option to stay up on your fingertips here or to start to fold over your right leg. Notice that your um, right knee doesn't feel any kind of twinge. Draw your right heel back towards your groin if that starts to happen. And then just, yeah, like Kate said, stay up and fold. You're gonna feel this in your right hip. Mm -hmm. And so it's an intense stretch. So see where in your body you can start to find a little bit more relaxation, where you can start to bring a little bit more ease in. A lot of times I'll notice here that I just naturally have kind of punched my shoulders up or that I'm holding tightness through my face. Those areas don't have to be working right now. So create that ease where you can so that you can really put the effort into stretching out your right hip. Take another inhale, exhale, and then slowly make your way back to down dog. If you want to take a counter stretch, you can bend, stack, and open through your right leg. And then once you've done that, you set up to take half pigeon on the other side, left leg lifting, left knee coming in towards your left wrist, right leg going long behind you, creating that opening through your upper body. And then once you're ready, either staying where you are or folding forward. Flex your front toes. Really, everything else can let go. Mm -hmm. And if your mind starts to wander here, see if you can redirect back to the intention that you set at the beginning of practice. So that way that you want to feel when you close out the class today. Focusing on that, bringing energy and life to that. Breathe that in. Let go of whatever doesn't serve you or your intention today. We'll take one more full breath in. Exhale, empty out. And then make your way back to downward facing dog. Find a counter stretch on this side if it feels good to open up. And then feet together, walking your feet through your hands. We'll set up for a seated forward fold with legs out long in front of you. Inhale, reach your arms up high, flex your toes back towards you. And with an exhale, fold forward. Reaching for whatever you can, whether that's your feet, your ankles, your legs, or you can always take your hands to rest underneath the back of your knees. And then make it a more passive stretch. Take an inhale and exhale out. Slowly roll up. Come into butterfly with the feet together, knees out wide, hands coming to clasp over the tops of your feet. Inhale, stretch open through your chest. And exhale, folding down. Try to see if you can keep your back from rounding here. Start with a flat back position. Belly button drawing in towards your spine, chest staying open, gaze at one spot. And then from there, start to round. That feels good. Mm -hmm. 
lot of upper back tension here. <laughs> oh, let it go. And then just as slowly as we came into it, start to come out of that. Extend your legs out long in front of you. Start to make your way down to your mat. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. Take a deep breath in. And with an exhale, supine twist. You're taking your left hand to your right thigh, supporting it. You can either close your eyes or maybe drop your gaze over to your right thumb. Let everything go here. And then come back through center, sending your right leg out long, hugging your left knee in towards your chest. And with an exhale, finding your twist. Try to keep both shoulder blades on your mat. You want that extra support. Your right hand can rest on your left thigh. Deeper stretch as you take your gaze towards your left thumb. Breathe in. And with an exhale, release. Sending both legs out long in front of you. Reaching your arms up above you as you inhale. And exhale, Shavasana. Take a moment to let everything go. Relax your fingers and your toes. Your wrists, your ankles. Your arms and your legs. Slightly tuck your chin in towards your chest so that your back body is fully supported. And your heart open. And then stay here if you have the time. And if not, slowly begin to draw your knees in towards your chest. Rolling to the right side, using the strength of your arms to press to a seated position. Sit up nice and tall as you bring your hands to meet at heart center. Taking a full breath in and a full breath out. Thank you so much for sharing your practice, your time, your energy with us today. Hands come to forehead center. Namaste. Which simply means the light in our hearts bows to the light in yours. Have a great day.